ACMMA Live 617 Wednesday grappling class. Just the lighting here a little bit. Try to get a little better picture for everybody. Uh, a little shadow there. That little light thing happens. All right, so we're gonna do a little stand up. This uh, video is intended for uh, KCMMA and Team Highest We're gonna do a stand up warm up just to start out. We did this la uh, last class again, just a good reminder. And we're taking a step and rotating. Step and rotating. Step, rotate. Step, rotate. It's like a car steering wheel. That little spin. You get a little glare from the outside sun coming through. That's all right. It's all good. We should be live July 1st, Wednesday. Make sure you make it to class, members. Come on. Have some fun. All right, nice. Next one, we're gonna do a step back. And boom. Good, I'm gonna switch sides, step, and rotate. Good, step, rotate. This is intended for KCMMA and Team High Stand members. Practice that stand up. Grabbing, remember? Step, and sweep. You get that little twist, that little slip. That's my foot dragging sideways over that. Right over the mat. Give you a side angle here. I'm stepping. And boom. Stepping backwards. And boom. Stepping backwards. And twist. Good. Now we're gonna do a two-step backwards. So I'm gonna step once, twice, and sweep. Do it again, same leg, okay? Step once, twice, and sweep. I'm stepping with the same foot twice, okay? One, two, and boom. This is our warm up today, okay? A little standing warm up. Mixing things up. Two step. One, two, and sweep. Now I'm gonna do a three step, okay? One, two, three. The object is each time I take a step and I step angular like that, the brilliance their foot closer when they step again. This first step, they're pretty far away. I might not have that foot quite yet. When I take this one and pull, I'm pulling him forward and I'm having that leg closer to my foot. Okay? And same idea with the third one. As I'm stepping, one, two, big turn, three. Okay? So don't forget about those steps. Those are fun to do. So let's do the next one. One and sweep outside, right? One sweep. One sweep, good. Now we'll do the two. One, back leg moves. Two, get those hands in turn. Little steering wheel there. Or big steering wheel. One, and the next one. Two, you got it. All right. One, and then twist. Again, one, two, and I'm doing it slow so you can see the footwork. I'll help you go at your own pace. Now let's do the three step. One, two, three. Again, starting neutral. One, two, and then the big step, three. Let's do it again. One. Two, three, nice. I know that I'm gonna back up a little bit for this one, as I'm gonna do it both sides, left and right. I'm pulling the first, I step first. You wanna make sure you step first. You step, then they step. If you get them to step at the same time, it makes it almost impossible to time this. Okay, you're trying to get their feet to do this, so you can sweep their foot, okay? So I step, step, and sweep. The idea is to catch them while their foot is in the air, coming almost to the ground, and then smack it out when they get close to each other. I'm trying to get their legs to come close. So I'm going one, two, boom, on the other side. One, two, sweep. One, two, sweep. One, two, sweep. There's the hands, okay? Don't forget the hands in there too, okay? So we're talking about footwork, don't forget the hands. Nice. Good. Nice. Nice. 
can do three steps, two steps, one step. Totally up to you. Up to you completely, you work it. All right, next thing we're gonna do, that's kind of our stand-up warm-up. There's different warm-ups for stand-ups. We're gonna do a couple more on the ground. Let's warm it up here. We're gonna start out with our 45 drill or whoopa drill. Comes up, reach across, up, reach across, up, reach across. That's it, nice. Good, now step throughs. Okay, the leg comes over, step back, pull that one through. Nice. You got it. Alright, good job. And a little bit of a warm up there. Let's get a couple stretches in so we don't pull anything. Stick one leg out, stretch down. More flexibility, easier to do moves than grappling, just to let you know, more flexible here. It makes life a little bit easier. Especially if someone's throwing a submission on you and really torquing it. Helps you uh, recover a little better or more pliable. And switch. And butterfly. All right, so it's good to have your grappling dummy at hand. I'm gonna grab mine real quick. I'm gonna grab the ones that we built in class. I'm gonna grab that right here. So I'm gonna grab that bad boy. Or girl, <laughs> whatever you wanna use it for. All right, our friend here, Billy Bob. Okay, or you call me a name you want, up to you. Remember, just something you built. If you actually have a grappling dummy, that's great too. Um, if not, not a problem. Just do a quick minor repair to him sticking his hand out at me, telling me to grab it. I don't know why, but he was. Okay, make sure you've got him tightened up. A good thing about putting a rash guard or a gi on your dummies, you can do more techniques, but it also keeps them clean. How about sanitation-wise and so forth? Um, if you can keep your, you know, spray your dummy every once in a while with something, or change the clothing on it, especially like a rash guard or a hoodie, or a it keeps your chemistries from different people on it or your chemistry off of it too so it helps keep it and last longer because our body gives a lot of salt out and that really works on the material all right so we're gonna start out with a guard position here legs and guard dummies in your guard you drop your foot keep one up on his back go right to a Kamori arch down pull it stretch it over to an arm bar Nice. Quick review, one of my favorite moves. We did this on Monday. Drop, turn, Komori. Remember that monkey paw? Stretch, oh, he's stronger, straightening. Right to arm bar, nice. Okay, so again, we're up. Grab, repetition, people, repetition. The more times you do it, the better it'll get. Grab, I almost got it to the back of his head. Oh, he's stronger. Oh, right to the arm bar. All right, next side, other side. I'm gonna rotate here. So other side. Always good to always do it two sides. All right, grab that wrist, drop down, I turn, keep that up, grab my wrist, right back. I think they, even though we call it a figure four, it's a Kamari or Udigrama in Japanese. And then uh, I think someone calls it a wrist lock or something in like catch catch. Catch catch is like a, Submission wrestling slash, you know, so you'll see these moves. I think they call it a wrist lock, I think. If somebody's watching it, that's not our system. It's catch, catch. If you say yes, then thanks. Okay, if I said it wrong, I apologize. 
So grab a net, legs are around, drop one foot down. Keep the same leg that you're attacking on the same arm side. Rotate, grab. That's gonna press right to his head. On that process, if he straightens his arm, I bring it towards me and I rotate around to it. Bring it to my head right around, so it's giving him an arm bar. So it's there again. Drop the one foot down. I usually just kind of shove the head a little bit, turn my body, grab, monkey grab, grab your own wrist. Right to the back of the head, usually submits, but it, for some reason in that step, they extend their arm straight, you take it towards you, and rotate it. Right, do an arm bar right behind his elbow, and I'm pushing it that direction. This hand's gonna push opposite way of the elbow. The elbow's here, it bends naturally this way, we're gonna try to bend it that way in the process of it. All right, obviously, if this hurts when you're doing it with a partner, you should say stop, tap, mate, all the above, right? Don't forget that. Great transition. Neat little tricky move. Doesn't look like much when that person all powers you here a little bit, and then you just kind of bring it right over, and straighten it out, and our body doesn't look like it's gonna work until they hit it. And you're like, wow, cool. All right, next one. I'm here. The guy's right here. I'm gonna go into and do a shoulder lock right here. Drop my foot, right into a shoulder lock here. Pulling it right to my arm, and do a shoulder here. All right, right to that. Next thing you know, his arm comes all the way over your body. Now I'm gonna figure four that way. So it's kind of like a shoulder lock to a figure four, it spins. All right, so again, I'm here. All right, sneak in for a shoulder here. I'm gonna reach down and grab. I can go with the traditional one. That's another way you can go right traditional Kamori. Or he goes and sneaks the arm around. I just catch it and I grab it and I'm gonna bend it back this way. All right? So a couple different ways to catch it. All kinds of crazy moves you can do here. Kind of neat in a way, okay? So let's go to another one. That's kind of a little weird until you get used to it. Let's do, a lot of times when you're here, your partner will grab a leg like this, all right? And he's trying to underhook your leg like this to throw it over like that and then pass your guard. That's what your partner's trying to do here. Okay, so I'm here. He breaks my guard, they're open. He takes one leg, goes underneath here. His next move is to take this leg and throw it over that way. Over that way, okay? So once you feel that hook, you need to address how can I stop it. There's different ways of stopping it. If you jam your arm into his armpit like this, and grab on, he's not gonna be able to throw that over. It'd be really difficult for him to do it. Is it possible? Yes, but very difficult. Okay, so that's one concept of blocking. Another one is as he does to do the, as he goes to do this, you're going to attack. So attack the hand here, pull it in, and this other hand over here you pull across. So as he goes to do this, you don't let him actually throw it, you bump your hip up and rotate over to your triangle attack on the opposite side. Okay, so let's go back to that. I'm in guard. That's green, yes. I'm in guard, he's digging down, pushes my legs down. Takes the hand on this side, it goes through here. All right? One defense is what? Through his armpit, lock here. Master grip onto his shoulder. Sometimes you can get a submission on this, but it's a good defense just to stop him from throwing that leg over. If you're not quite there, you go grab this arm instead. And he's gonna go take this one and kick over. Don't let him do it. Control you fight it down, and then turn your hip and kick it over right to your triangle. Right to the triangle. Nice little combo to get there, okay? So let's do it again. So right here, I'm in guard, he's taking his arm, pressing down on there, he goes underneath my leg. Alright, if we can catch this, what do we do? Underhook his armpit, lock in. I lock my feet right back together so I can get a pressure and go. If I catch it in time. If not, I feel doing it, I'm trying to fight it, I grab this arm here. Grab this other arm. Alright? Pull across. And as he goes to lift this up, you Plant your foot, kick your hip up, turn over, and now I've got a triangle right here. Right into a triangle technique. 
Nice little setup for triangle. Guess what? We did it one side, now we need to do what? The other side. Yes, 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 and yes. So I'm gonna do the other side now. I'm in guard, he's pressing down, he breaks my guard. Comes through this arm right here. Okay, so what do we have? What was the first thing we said? Shoulder lock. Come in here to the shoulder lock. Grab here, lock it. I can bring the leg around and hook it. If not, I can just hold that. And that should stop him most of the time. If I can't get my arm in there, he's gonna lift this up. So let's tack something else. Why he's busy lifting this up, attack this. And as he's starting to lift, you lift your hip up, kick over. Now you're right behind his head with your knee. Pull that arm across, drop your foot over top. Now you have a triangle, nice. You go here, you can grab his head, pull in, your choice. Let's do it again, as promised, let's do it again. Do it again. So he's in guard. I'm locked, he's got his arms up here, he's digging down with his elbow, oh, doesn't feel good, he's strong. Comes down here, grabs it. First move what, hand through. Shoulder lock, okay? If I can't do that, can't get my hand in there. Attack the other arm. He's busy straining with that one, attacking that one, okay? Attack this arm. I like to try to grab the hand here just for effect, to control a little bit. I turn my body, I sit up, turn it, kick over, turn, drop that knee behind his head, pull that arm across, foot over top, and you got a beautiful triangle submission right there. Really nice, easy to do, okay? So it's a great way to hit a triangle. All right, and that's the triangle from guard. Everybody says, why do we always do triangle, triangle in class? There you go, that's that rotation of your body. Why do we set up go guard, side guard? That's how we get our body to move in these elements. When I'm here and I need to move, I need to sit up. If I lay flat, it's harder for me to turn. I sit up and then I arch and drop down and over. And there's that arm coming across to me. There it is. I can squeeze the arm, squeeze the head. I want to definitely squeeze the legs and put that in an arm triangle. Very good, very good. All right, so where else can we get a triangle? Well, lots of places. Let's go from a mount. Let's go from a mount. A mount, okay? Mount position. All right? So I'm in mount here, okay? And I'm gonna take my leg, and I'm gonna lift up his head, and I'm gonna go underneath his head like this. See that motion? Lifting the head up. Slide under. I'm gonna rotate a little bit, because I'm gonna rotate. Now, I technically want him to shove me over. It'll make my triangle a lot easier to get because I'm gonna roll back on my back. So he's gonna reach up with his hand and he's gonna push me. I'm gonna back up a little more here. He's gonna push me over. I'm gonna make sure he goes the way I want him to go. As he's pushing me over here, my leg is right there still. Pull that arm a little bit, throw my leg right over. You got a triangle from mount and just rolled with it. He thought he'd roll a jaw, he rolled right into the triangle. Right into the triangle position. All right, so don't forget, there's another way of doing it right there. All the same dynamics, except that I'm rolling over. All right, great class, everybody. Make sure you do a lot of reps on those new moves, especially if you have never done it before, do a bunch of reps. We will see you Monday. Have a great weekend, safe. We'll be back here July 1st. Ciao, Matan.